Hello, welcome to Excellence Link Academy. For today, uh, we are still on first specific method of differentiation, right? So for today, I'm going to um, introduce the formula to first specific method of differentiation. So if I have, um, after my derivative, I always have what? F prime of what? X, which is equal to what? F into S plus change in X, right? Minus the function of what? F of X over what? Change in X. So, taking the limit of change in X to what? To be zero. Here is the basic formula to first principle method of differentiation. Right? So let's take an example and let's um, use it. Let's apply the formula to solve the example. Right? Let's say for instance, example. Example on this, if I have y is equal to 3x squared plus 2x. If I have y is equal to what? 3x squared plus 2x. If I apply my first principle method, what is my first method? That is called what? General method. What's the idea? Multiply by the power and subtract from what? On the power. That's the um, initial for a method of solving what? Um, differentiation. So if I'm applying my first principle method of differentiation, if I have um, 3x squared plus 2x, and I'm told to differentiate this using what? General method. What do I do? I'll have what? The y over the x is equal to multiply by the power. The power is 2. 2 times 3 becomes what? 6x. Then what? I have 2. 2 minus 1. And that's all. Plus, um, this is the thing is still 1 here. So 1 multiplied by 2x. Then what? Subtract 1. 1 minus 1. My y over the x here will be equal to what? 6x plus what? x 2 minus 1 is what? 1. I'm left with what? x. Plus 1 times 2 becomes what? 2. x power 0 is x. 1 minus 1 is 0. That becomes what? Into 1. So my dy over the x at this section becomes what? 6x plus what? 2. After differentiating. So um, this is what? General method. Let's now apply the first method to solve this and see if our answer will be the same. Right? So what was the idea behind this? We said the idea of first principle was what? Add change. Well, if I see y, I what? Add change in y. If I see x, I what? Add change in x. So if I have y, so simply what? Add what? Change in y is equal to, this is 3. I have 3. This is x. Uh, x plus what? Change in x. Right? All what? All squared. This is 3. I'm seeing x here. To x, add what? Change in x. Then there's a square outside it. I'll square it up. Plus 2. I'm seeing x. Add what? Change in x. I have this. I have this. So what do I do in this section? Um, I will take, I'll write y plus change in y is equal to 3 into, if I expand this using my Pascal triangle, I'll have x squared plus 2x change in x plus what change in x squared, right? Uh, if you don't have to expand this, check our previous video on first method to get the, um, the way of expansion of this. Uh, into, I have opposite what? 2. 2 into what? Into x plus what? Change in x. I have this. So what do I do at this point? I what? Expand this using what? 3 to expand all this term here. I use 2 to expand all this term here. So I have my y plus change in y is equal to 3x squared. 3 times x squared plus what? 3x squared plus 2, 3 times 2x change in x plus what? 6x change in x. I'm done with that. This is a positive sign. Plus 3 times change in x squared plus what? 3 change in x all squared. I'm seeing a plus, a plus, I have a plus. 2 multiplied by x becomes what? 2x. I'm seeing a plus, plus what? 2 multiplied change in x becomes what? 2 change in x, right? I have 2 what? Change in x. At this point, I'll take my y to the other side, right? 
I'll take my y to the what? Other side, I'll have what? Ch I'll be left with what? If I take y to the other side, I'll be left with what? Change in y. So my change in y is equal to 3x squared plus 6x change in x plus 3 change in x squared plus 2x plus 2 change in x. Listen, I, if I take y to the other side, because what? Minus what? Minus y, right? Now listen, but we said something, but y initially, y initially was what? Was going to be what? 3x squared plus 2x in the question, right? So anyway, I see y, I'll put what? All this thing. So I'll have my change in y, change in y is equal to 3x squared, 3x squared plus 6x change in x plus what 6x change in x plus what 3 change in x squared plus 3 change in x squared plus 2x plus 2x um, yes plus 2 change in x plus 2 change in x minus minus what y what you say y was what all this thing into observe i put it in the bracket into what 3x squared plus 2x. My y is this. And y contain what? All this. So ensure you put them what in a bracket, please. So I'll have change in y. This man is equal to what? 3x squared plus 6x change in x plus 3 change in x squared plus 2x plus what? 2 change in x. Now I'll use minus to multiply all this. I'll have what? Minus what? 3x squared plus times plus, minus times plus plus what? Minus what? Um, 2x. I have this. I have this. Now listen, in this case here, I'll do some what? Mathematical manipulation. If I have, in mathematics, if I have, let's say I have um, plus 3, right? Uh, I'm saying minus 2, um, minus 3, right? Something like this. Hence, this can cancel out what? This. I will left with what? Minus 2. Now, I'm going to apply the logic to this um, part here. I have plus 3x squared. And I'm saying what? Minus 3x squared. Hence, the words cancel out. This cancel out what? This. I'm done. I can see plus 2x. I can see minus 2x. Hence, I'll cancel out this and this. So I'm left with what? Um, change in y is equal to what? 6x change in x. I'm done with that. I'm left with this. Plus 3 change in x squared. I'm done with that. I have this. Plus 2 change in x. That's all, right? That's all. So what we just did now is called what? We added what? Uh, f of x. x plus change in x. That would be we added x plus change in x to everything at this point now. So what do we do now? We now minus what? F of x, which is that y we minus. This y that we minus, minus y is from what? This one principle here, f of x is our y. So we minus what? F of x, which we have done to this level. So what do I do now? I will divide by what? Change in x, right? So divide by what? Change in x. Divide through by what? Change in x. So I'll have change in y over what? Change in x is equal to 6x change in x um, divided by what? Change in x plus 3 um, change in x squared over what? Change in x plus what? 2 change in x over what? Change in x. Observe. My aim now is what? Get this answer, right? Now listen, listen. Uh, change in x, cancel out what? Change in x. I'm done. Change in x, cancel out change in x squared. I'm left with what? One change in x, right? Change in x, cancel out what? Change in x. Now listen, I will have what? Change in y over what? Change in x is equal to 6x, right? Plus 3 change in x, change in x, uh, plus 2. Now listen. After um, dividing by changing x, if you are still left with changing x, 
take what? Take limit of change in estimate what? Zero. So taking my limit, limit of change in x to what? Zero. It simply means anywhere I see change in x, I what? Put zero. So what do I do? I have change in y by change in x. Change in y over what? Change in x is equal to 6x or uh, 6x plus 3. Listen, plus what? 3 change in x. What we set in x what? To be 0. So I put what? 0 plus 2. I have plus 2. Hence, I'll have my change in y over what? Change in x is equal to 6x, right? 3 multiplied 0 is what? Off. It's off. Plus, I'm ready for plus 2. Here is my answer after differentiating. When I apply my general method, I have this answer. Also, when I apply the first principle method, I have the same answer. Um, in our next class, we're going to move to the um, fractional part of the um, first method of what? Differentiation.